Oh no. Oh! Here he goes. Oh! He becomes the Hulk every night. Shirt comes off and he just wants to fight everyone. No, because it's too Leave it on, buddy. It's too cold, you need to jacket. Oh, a bit worried about Vance actually. What do you what do you call this mate? Ketchup pie. Oh, okay, that's fail number one. <laughs> Hey Van, what do you call this? Water. <laughs> water? <laughs> we got to get you back to Australia, buddy. It's just a toy gun, by the way. <laughs> One thing I will say about all these campsites in the USA is how clean they are. Like, whenever you pull up to these free camping spots, there is like never any rubbish or anything anywhere. It's just spotless. You know, as you pull up to a spot like this, there's normally smashed glass and your paper floating around and. There's one other car in this whole spot. Over there. Yeah, like you just won't find a skerrick of rubbish anyway. I've got a bit of foot surgery to start the day. Splinter. I think I can see it. Mum um, bought a band aid from the shop. Is that band aid Yeah. Scalpel. Yeah, All right, we are in Canyonlands National Park. It's one of our favourite places in the world, probably. Last time we were here, we actually drove this road along here, right down to the bottom of the canyon, which we're thinking about doing again today. Yeah, we've only got two days here, so we're doing everything pretty quickly. Um, two days is nowhere near enough, basically. But 
Unfortunately, we're running out of time. We're just running out of time. 100% <laughs> not enough time. Yeah. I feel like we should probably do it. We're doing it. <laughs> uh, this is the Schaefer Trail. It is epic. We did it like years and years ago. Six. Six years ago. People are kind of advising against it a little bit because there was like a thunderstorm last night that... Watched out the whole town. Yeah, the town. I'll probably show some footage but it's completely covered in mud. Um, and apparently it got pretty boggy down here in some spots. Um, but we'll just go as far as we can. And, uh, I think if you have four-wheel drive, you're okay. So yeah, we'll soon find out anyway. Uh, this leads to another road called, I think it's the White, White, White Rim. Rim. Yeah, the White Rim Trail. And that, that goes for 100 miles of... Um, Loops the whole path. Like four-wheel drive track. One thing that concerns me, and that's one of our tyres, is kind of a bit average. And we've already blown two on this trip. <laughs> Either way, this road is worth it. If you, get, if you ever get the chance, definitely give it a crack because it's absolutely awesome. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> I already moved some boulders out of the way. If you're in something with a bit higher clearance, you'd probably just go straight over them. But this is just stock standard, this car. This makes you wonder how this road even... <laughs> how is it even possible? Yeah, so far the mud isn't too bad, but you just got to be careful because the last thing you want to have to do is power through the mud, slide out and end up yeah. over the edge of the cliff. It's an exciting way to go. To give you guys an idea, just over my head is where we were before. I'm looking down on the trail just up there. And from this point, and to just keep weaving down, like so. <laughs> can you see down the mountain? Yeah, I can. Now we're down here. How are you going? Good. The road's very rough down there. Is it? We're just heading to the bottom bit down here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just looping back around once you get to the bottom. Yeah. How's this section all right? Is it? That's what the rough part is. Oh, that's the rough part. Okay. We yeah. we'll buckle up. Yes, do. <laughs> cool. And if you come back up, make sure you've got very good four wheel drive. Cool. Thank you. Take care. You really got to suss out where you meet these other cars because. Um, most of the trails now are near wide enough for two cars and you don't want to be the car that's on the outside of the track. Oh, that's epic. Look at the view. So I've made the Jeep. We did pass someone already that said, uh, I don't know about this. Turn around, mate. I said, mate, you should be right, mate. Been doing a little bit more rock clearing here just because we don't really have the clearance of this vehicle um, but yeah we're chipping away at it so far so good
All right, mission accomplished. We've made it to the bottom of the valley. Oh man, she did get pretty rough. Wow, 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 wow. Well, to me, everything looks fairly intact. Well, what do you reckon? I like it. What? Oh no! <laughs> um, <laughs> he's been nailing it every time. He's missing a couple of weeks of kindy, so his teacher said, the time he gets back, he has to be able to count to 10. And we finally got him there. He does normally get it right. And Austin's already counting to three. And he's two. So yeah, pressure's on if you want to be able to get away with pulling him out of school or whatever for a week or two. Um, <laughs> we got to do what they tell us to do. Um, we're now going to go to Koa Camp uh, in Moab. <laughs> Lashed out to like 39 bucks a night. It's got a big massive pool. Um, basically Beth loves these cows, she's got addicted. Because <laughs> um, they've got nice showers and bathrooms. And, uh, yeah, they are pretty nice. It's like a hotel. Yeah, it's, it's the closest we get to um, a hotel. While we're on the road, we haven't stayed in a hotel or an actual proper bed in well, how long is it now? Like seven weeks. Yeah. Um, and then we're actually heading to Vegas, um, where we do have a hotel booked. Um, because yeah, pitching a tent in the middle of Vegas is probably I don't know. It's, pro it's probably frowned upon. <laughs> All right, tent all set up. Uh, we've got a bit of shade here, which is good because it's about 40 degrees hundred and something in American. We're going to the pool, aren't we, mate? Yeah. Yew. All right, we're at Dead Horse Point in Utah now. One of our favorite spots, we love it here. Um, I've rented one of these, an e-bike. Never, ever ridden one before. Um, so yeah, see how I go. I'm gonna do a couple of trails around here. There's heaps of trails, actually. Um, look, looks like it's really well set up as well. Uh, it's about six in the arvo, so gonna hopefully get a bit of the sunset. Beth's gonna head down to the actual dead horse point. Watch the sun go down. It is epic over there. We've been here before. Yeah, I better get cracking. Turn it on here. Do you want to go? You don't. <laughs> Hook and I, yeah. Oh, I don't know how it works. So I'm here. I head down here. Well, if you follow that one down, you're supposed to go all the way down to the visitor centre. But I reckon if you can, you can turn off there, across the road, and just check out that overlook too. Wow. Oh, yeah, this is epic. This is everything I love about Utah. Yeah, damn it. Now I want an e-bike, this is epic. All right, just thinking. Big Chief Overlook sounds a bit better than the visitor center, I reckon. Ah, so let's keep going. Ta 
right across to Prickly Pear. I'm not going to do the whole thing, I've only got about half an hour of sunlight, so cut across there and then power back to the visitor centre. Oh, you're down at the point, are you? Dead horse? Yeah, dead horse point, yeah. We're just getting back in the car. I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. Wait for me. Oh, okay. We're just getting in the car. You're just having the main car back. I'll click it in boost and uh, <laughs> I'll be there in two minutes. Yeah. All right, we'll just wait. Bye. Alrighty. See ya. Bye. Hello. You reckon this? <laughs> What do you got? I've got a gun bike. What's he saying? He's got a gun bike. Put a gun on it. Put a gun on it. Oh, there we go. Ready for tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Let's go. <laughs> Who's driving me? Yeah. Oh, GoPro. One percent. Perfect. Pulled over, spotted in that big spot for the sunset. Check it out. Before it's gone. Gotcha. Oh, that's cool. Him. I like that. Yeah, it's really cool. That's just like just a beautiful flat rock. Yeah, check this out. A lot, a lot of it is from like up to six thousand BC. Crazy. Most of the damage to it comes from vandalism. Oh, Gandhi, you're an idiot. Hear me, Anthony I can't seem to find what I'm seeking Misplaced all my love and way of thinking Carried in the current of last year Help me, Anthony My mistakes are finally catching up 
ignore the simple acts of love. Let them rust all bundled up with grief. I'm sick of seeing all the times I chose the lie. It's about 7 a.m. and I'm at Slick Rock Bike Trail. Gonna go for a ride, obviously. Looks like I'm the first one here. And I'm pretty keen. Should be good. For those interested, I rented this off a mob called uh, Poison Spider. Uh, just right in town in Moab there. I'll chuck all the details up. Uh, the good thing about them is they're one of the few companies that lets you pick it up the day before. I picked it up about five o'clock. And so you can do like a sunset sort of ride that night and then you can come out nice and early in the morning as well. Yeah, glad they put a stop sign here anyway, because... You! <laughs> it's a little bit beyond my ability, that one. Well, maybe on one of these viewpoints, I'm guessing. Uh, portal, panorama, or updraft. To be honest, I'm not totally sure. I'm wondering how long it is. Uh, Slick Rock is about, say here, nine and a half miles, um, or 15.3 kilometers. I'll tell you what, lucky I've got the e-bike today because it is hot as hell. Like, it's gonna be 40 degrees, or around 100 Fahrenheit. So the pedal assist is definitely getting a workout today. 
one other guy on the trail. Let's carry on. Well. <laughs> oh wow. Check that out, that is awesome. Slip rock, that was epic fun. Um, for someone that's not like a, or someone that's just a complete amateur like myself, I uh, definitely benefited, benefited from the um, pedal assist there. I would have been, I don't think I would have enjoyed it um, just on a normal mountain bike. There was, uh, like there was plenty of spots that were real steep and I would have had to get off and walk. So being able to just power up, up the steep inclines was, made it just so much more fun entrance fee into this park uh, per vehicle was five bucks um, I think if you ride a bike in it's like two bucks or something um, cheap as and like a year pass is like a 25 for a whole year me I'd rather disappear than be lifeless like the sea Hey Van! Yeah! You! He must be trying to get his goggles. Is he? 